Hello and welcome, I am Arumba, thank you for joining me. So, I'm going to keep on doing the Quantum Leap thing, but unfortunately, uh, as you saw at the very end of the last video, the uh, the game, the, it's just actually game over, so I wasn't able to save the game. Um, and I played some Elder Kings, which then overwrote my autosaves, and so we pretty much just have to go from the last Quantum Leap autosave, and then, or not the last, like, I, it was a while ago, whatever, it doesn't really matter, we're going to random from here. And just keep on going, because it is fun. So we are going to kind of amend the rules slightly. You know, like if we get a 70-year-old character, we're not going to play him. Because he'll just die before anything interesting happens. If we get a 2-year-old, we're not going to play that. Um, counts are out. Dukes and Kings only. And I like the idea that somebody else had mentioned, like, you know, choose an interesting character. Like, maybe the opposite. Like, if you play France, then choose England. You know, like, the opposite of whatever you're playing is. It's kind of cool. So let's try. So counts, nope. Alright, so we got the Duke Gebbard Ironside, the Duke of Kap Kapua, the Duchy of Kapua. So he's down here somewhere, um, he has a leash, the King Ernst the Young. We are 71, sorry, but no. Uh, Countess. And next is a uh, High Chief, he's 34, he's independent, and he's in Chermisa. He's currently at war with a vassal, or he, he, he has a vassal. He is at war with the county of Mari and the county of Mordva. So there's two separate wars going on. Sounds good, let's do it. All right, so we have 2,200 troops, very nice. Uh, our ambition is to become exalted among men. We have 20, 233 prestige, which will most definitely be able to get that mission satisfied. We're at war with these two separate peoples. Uh, this guy who is apparently fighting against multiple people. It's a claim on Shermisa. He probably had like a host army or something. He appears to have been put down. Um, he also lives here. We're sieging him. Wow, that's a lot of defenders. And then we're also fighting against Mordvain, Mordvian War for Orunza's claim on Shermisa. So somebody else is trying to take it. Uh, this chief Des here who lives down here, she's trying to take our duchy. Um, she, on the other hand, has 1,700 troops. So I'm guessing what happened is this war fired. We offset some of his troops, but now she has just declared her war. Started in 1031. And so, yeah, within the last few months. Now she is going to be uh, probably a bigger threat. But we do have allies. Um, we can call him in not to this war. Okay. Our, uh, our Chancellor is our uncle. He doesn't like us very much. We have a short reign penalty. He's uh, considering us to be a foreigner. He is the best diplomat. Our Marshal is the best. The best. The best. Naturally, our Spymaster is a woman. Um, okay. We're going to scheme in the capital. We're going to collect taxes in the capital. We're going to train troops in the capital. We're going to improve diplomatic relations with the guy who is not willing to join our war. Because if, if we improve if we get lucky and improve relations with him, maybe he would come help us. He's kind of far away though. Do we have any family members we can marry off? I have a son who's married what? My son is married to my half sister. That's that's disgusting. Why did you why did you do that? Son Son. Seems silly. I have a seven-year-old daughter. I have a brother who's married. I have a half-sister who's married to my son. Genius. It's pure genius is what it is. All right, yeah, I guess we are going to improve relations with you. Your capital is here. Go make him like us better, please. He's honored the call for this war. That's why I'm surprised that he's not willing to defend us for this. All right, so yeah, we sit here... Do we sit here or do we sit in the capital? I'm hoping that this army will come and cross that major river. And we can get the major river crossing bonus. If we see it coming up through Cheremisa, we will move back to Kerzenitz and hope that we get the defending bonus for that major river. We can also press du jour ducal claims. Cheremisa actually extends way down to there. Yeah, we're going to have to hold off on that siege. My son needs an educator. We can probably use him for opinion. I don't expect uh, that we have a very large um, levy overall. 
my 11-year-old kinswoman is asking about death. Let's say she... Let me make her chaste, whatever. Don't actually have enough troops to siege through my holding here. My vassal's holding, which is good. And that means they're not willing to cross. So that's fine. We will get a defensive bonus. You want to marry my cousin? I say no. Eventually we will get the ticking bonus because we are the defenders, so... As long as we don't let them take our capital and they can't siege through Chuvash, we should be fine. And since she's retreating, we'll try to siege this. Oh, hey, that's fun. What's this all about? You are attacking my rebelling vassal, which makes us hostile. Thanks, Perm. I'm certainly not going to marry anyone off to you now, jerk. My niece is not worth any opinion, so let's maybe train her up to be a spy mastery type character. What do you want? We propose white peace. Okay, so because he's being attacked by an outside threat, he's um, wanting to, to peace out. Um, just out of curiosity, um, you're not willing to surrender. White peace, he's, he gets imprisoned either way. We're just talking about how much prestige we gain. And yeah, we accept your white peace. And do you have any money? You have lots of money. So much money, in fact, that I think we might be willing to consider banishing you. You see, he's got... I mean, we only have a couple vassals. We have quite a few people in court, but uh, 20 tyranny for 400 gold? Holy crap. I think yes. How did you get so much money? Yeah, you need to go away. Thank you for the money. Appreciate it. Now we have title loss and succession, probably because we're still on Gavelkind. Oh, by the way, we're Sue Minusco. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, let's disband, disband, re-raise, re-raise. In fact, we'll keep our vassals' armies down. In fact, we'll keep all of our armies down until I see the enemy approaching. You are doing what? What are you doing? You're attacking in the invasion of Turkestan. So that's to the south. Good, yes. Pay, pay us no, no mind. And you, um, I want you to just really go away. Ukan Jula festival. We have lots of money. Plot to kill some kid. We could plot to revoke the county from our vassal. Could could be fine. I don't really want to go to war with him right now. My wife is actually quite good. So we'll keep her. So yeah, I think what we probably do here is we... Um, We pretty much just hire some mercenaries, go win the war. Hey, he called me into his war, so he probably likes us better now. Are you willing to join our wars now? Yeah, we can probably get both of them in. Okay, so they both joined the war. Which means that we won't have to hire mercenaries. Which means that we can probably start upgrading things. And he's actually stupid enough to cross the major river. Let's set you up on the left flank so that you come into battle on the left flank. And then let us also consider upgrading this stables. Come at us, bro. We look forward to it. Can we balance the unit better? No, it's just two two components to the army. Hmm. Alright, so we get the defensive bonus being in the hills, and they took the major river crossing, so um, they also only have two commanders that are level fours. I feel like we've got the numeric advantage here. Uh, this flanking bonus is not nearly enough to offset the defensive terrain and the river crossing penalty, so we should be fine. Um, plus we have reinforcements arriving, so... Very stupid AI. I had a feeling that they would do that. Although they are winning, unfortunately. Would you please arrive? No! Why would you stop? Oh my god, they actually won! What a bunch of garbage! They had 800 men coming to reinforce and they didn't actually come. Well, I guess maybe we do need mercenaries. How dumb. We will hire... Hmm. 
the 1400. As long as he's a decent commander, he's not. Alright. I guess we'd go bigger then. The Pashenig Company. He's not that great. But he's got horse archers. Let's just make sure we win. I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about the low morale that we're going to come in with. So let's get 3600. It's very expensive, but... Uh, this guy's actually got a couple combat modifiers. This guy has none. This guy has none. These guys aren't very good. So yeah, we'll go with the first guy, the Turkman. Oh no, not the Turkman. The, this one. Oh god, spending all that money. Okay, so we basically took two, 200 tyranny to win this war. I'm oh, sorry, not 200. Two, 20. You can tell that this army is far superior considering they're already running. Go up to speed four, I think. Nice job improving relations with that guy. You don't really need to do that anymore. Let's improve relations with our vassal instead. Stomp, 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 stomp. And white peace. Really? You, you, you're not willing to surrender? Okay. We're losing 20 gold a month, but we'll come down here and assault your holdings if that's what you really want. And our steward is dead. The fact that she was able to attack us makes me think she's supposed to be our vassal. Ugh. Well, even if we did assault, it's going to be very expensive. There, there's the white piece. So she ends up in prison. We ransom this one. Disband the mercenaries. And this festival must be done before August, so next year we can try out the festival. And I guess we'll use our daughter for more opinion with somebody, probably the Count. I'm, I'm actually fine with giving it to the woman that we just fought our war with. Volga Bar Bulgaria owns some land that should be ours, but he is quite big and scary. How many troops do you have? 9,800. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Um, we can attack you in the conquest. We're still trying to improve our steward, our, uh, what's it called? Prestige. One way to improve our prestige would be to do a co couple conquest wars. You are allied with these two. We can just do a quick conquest here. Not the subjugation, because you only get one per lifetime. We would rather do a conquest. May have made sense to keep those mercenaries, um, but they were very, very expensive. I don't really think we actually have enough troops right now to to attack anybody, honestly. Maybe you. No, he's underneath somebody. He's underneath Poland. But these guys, these guys will do. There's only a couple of them that we can actually eat, but it'll make sense. Perm would also be somebody to consider going against soon. He's only got 2,200. He's got a lot of land, but the land's pretty crappy. So I think we're in a mode now where... Oh, come on. A peasant revolt? Ah. 3,200 of them? Are you kidding? What, what do you want if we surrender? The county of Mali becomes... Mali becomes independent? And we lose prestige. Oh god. How dumb. Why was there even revolt risk here? Different culture. 2% chance. Well, I certainly can't afford mercenaries to fight them off. Sure. Just take your damn province. Go away. The curious thing is going to be to see if they actually get to keep that army. The answer is probably is so stupid. Event spawn troops. Actually, no. Now you're down to a thousand. We can raise a thousand. Yeah, we can't fight the whole thing, but we can definitely fight this part.
So I think what we do is we hire the cheap mercenary. That or we just wait a couple months. And if we wait a couple months, he will replenish also. Nope, he's got recently conquered for a while. Yeah, we just wait a couple months. Pay close attention to him, make sure nobody else attacks him. Then we attack it back. He's very likely to get declared upon by Perm. Almost guaranteed. In which case, we would need to get in there first. Okay, well, I'm going to take a break here. Interesting start. I mean, it's going to be a very challenging, challenging Duke to play as, but I think we can bring him into power. He's young, 35. We've got plenty of time. We can do it. All right, so I'll take a break here. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in a bit.